You mean I'm not going to be able to use this anymore? The rules committee just came out with a few suggestions for changes to the rule in college wrestling. The most notable being a three-point takedown. And I have a few concerns with how this might affect college wrestling moving forward. Okay, so the justification they gave to the three-point takedown was they gave this scenario of a match where a match is three takedowns to one and the score being tied six to six with one wrestler getting three takedowns in the first period and the other wrestler getting three escapes with the match being six to three. The losing wrestler who has three escapes gets choice in the second. He gets an escape to make it six to four. And then in the second period, he gets one takedown to make it six to six which is a three to one takedown ratio in a tied match. However, my criticism of this scenario is that they kind of cherry picked it. They cherry picked a moment in the middle of a match where the wrestler who got three takedowns hasn't had choice yet. On the other side, they didn't mention that the wrestler who has three takedowns didn't get an escape after he got taken down. And so the wrestler who can get escapes and get out from bottom should be rewarded. And so the folk style purist, which I am one of them, I love freestyle wrestling, but I wrestled folk style. So I really enjoy folk style. It's a, they're going to say it's a three position sport. All three positions matter and a three point in a three point takedown overvalues neutral and undervalues top and bottom. The other thing they said was they're trying to incentivize scoring and adding an extra point on a takedown doesn't actually accomplish that goal. It does give you more points, but I don't think it's going to incentivize more scoring. If you wanted to incentivize scoring, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could make scoring easier or you could give the wrestlers more ways to score. For example, a way to make scoring easier would be to eliminate reaction time. This rules committee is actually recommending reaction time be taken into account for all positions, including rear standing, which I'm in favor of. But if you did want to incentivize scoring, re eliminating reaction time would make getting points easier. You would see more takedowns. The other way you could incentivize make scoring easier is on a turn, and I've said this in the past, one point for a one second near fall. How many times do we see guys turn someone, get a swipe, the bottom wrestler fights back to her belly, and they never get the second swipe, and so they don't score any points. Only having to hold them there for one second to get a point would certainly make it easier, and therefore we would see more scoring. The other way is to provide wrestlers more ways to score. An example of that would be a one point push out. That's not currently a way you can score now, but if you added that, you would have more ways to score and you would see more scoring. But really my big fear with the three point takedown is I think it could potentially do the opposite. I think it could de-incentivize wrestlers from attacking and scoring for a few reasons. First, how many matches do we see end up three to two and the wrestler that's losing is going hard, trying to get a takedown. The crowd's calling for stalling. And if they get a stall, they tie it up. Um, or if a wrestler puts on a tough ride, they could tie it up with a ride time point. In this scenario, a wrestler would be up four to two. They could give up a stall point. They'd still win. They could have given up a ride time point, been ridden for 90 seconds. They'd still win. They could do both. They could give up a stall point and give up a ride time point, and they'd still be able to go to overtime and try to win the match. And so if you're a wrestler, you get a takedown in the first period, you're up three to one, you could really shut it down, hold position, stall in front headlocks, kind of take half shots, and win a lot of matches that way. The other reason why I think this could de-incentivize attacking is if you attack and you get a and you give up a takedown off a re-attack or a go behind, it becomes very, very costly. You give up three points. You're now down three points. And I think wrestlers are going to be so cautious to not make any mistake and not give up any 
takedown whatsoever because you give up that first takedown, it could be very costly and that wrestler could shut it down just like I just went through and win the match. So if they're going to implement a three-point takedown, the referees have to call stalling. They have to call stalling. They can't wait 60 seconds, 20 seconds. You're not attacking, stall. If you're on top and you're not trying to turn, stall. They have to call stalling or I think guys are going to sit on leads. They're going to get a takedown. If they get two takedowns, they're going to shut it down. They're up six. They're up five points, four points. I could see them, see them shut it down because a ride time point is not going to matter. They could give up a stall point. It's not going to matter. And so I'm a little bit skeptical about a three-point takedown, but maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you convince me in the comments below why I'm wrong.